Oh, getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Rockham suck him out of the shoot here. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Anderson. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Ooh, what a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful head kick. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, he's so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Nice kick landed there by Shore. Left hook to the head. Big body kick. Nice punch there by Anderson. Again, shoots for a takedown, not there once again. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, that right hand is on point. There's no tell on that leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Anderson. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. And they separate. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? All right, single collar tie now. Kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. He lands flush with that right hand. And really starting to make these shots count. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Ten seconds to go in round one. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Boom! Body kick right there. Landed perfect. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to him. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landed. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, nice right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice punch land. Trying to establish that jab once again. That shot blocked by Anderson. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your post. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big punch lands through the middle. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Anderson's lower jaw now starting to show. That one's here to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. That punch no good. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate. He's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Nice strike. And he landed the right hand there. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches and bunches. He's landing on the side of the opponent's head over and over again. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Choi. Oh, nice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 
Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Ten seconds. Big ball for punch man. Now we get back to range. Round three next. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's get to the replays from that previous round, and you got to think they plucked that flying knee, huh? Oh, it was beautiful. It was great to see someone be this free in the octagon. See an opening, take anything that shows itself. That flying knee was perfectly timed and landed beautifully. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just misses with the straight right. Straight punch lands. Over and over, he lands a big body. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his goal. Won't finish his fight. And now he lands a combination. Well, not much of a... Oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Yeah, he's in half guard here. And really starting to make these shots count. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the... Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Wow! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Three minutes remain in the round. Back to the feet. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Beautiful punch. No! Oh. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice loop and punch. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him... Oh! Holy smoke! Put him to sleep! Back to the feet! Oh! The Korean Superboy does it again! Well, he's 
going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. He set it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata calls a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Well, there will be no shutting that smile off.